Hey everybody, it's Danielle here with an Orlando thing. Today we are in Montbird, Florida, checking out the Whitestone floor plan by Pulte Homes. This Whitestone floor plan is about 2,800 square feet. It starts in the low 600s and features a master on the main level. Let's go check it out. So I just have to point out that really cute little front patio. I love those. And I love this door as well now. This is the white stone. You'll notice we're gonna start off kind of the same as the Ashby Grand. However, flex space, den area is gonna be on your right. It has the double doors as well with the glass. So, I mean, this is really good space. It's here if you need an office. Whatever you need for a flex room, this is the way to go. This would be the two car garage off here to your left. Right now they have is the sales center, so it's not going to look this way. Um, it'll be, just be your two car garage. So we're gonna continue down this foyer. And we have your half bath. Let's check this out. This is gonna be a half bath here. Sometimes the builders uh, make this a little bit bigger than what you will get in real life because it has to be wheelchair accessible. So this does feel a little bit bigger. It might be accessible um, half bath for guests. So customers walking through here, you have storage right off the bat. And of course they have all their, your Pulte stuff, but that would be just regular storage, more storage here. Oh, sorry. So this would be the door to your garage. It's locked because obviously they're working. So we're in the way to the load, uh, but we have some more space here this would be the laundry room okay and the only reason why I know that is because they had this sign so now I'm just kidding they also have the hookups for your washer dryer that would go right here this is a big room for laundry so love that definitely a plus we're gonna walk out to your main living space now this area is very glam to me very dark and luxurious kind of vibes going on I don't haven't seen that very often and I, I kind of miss it so this is really nice we have your gas stove, the hood, and then of course your microwave oven combo. I love that. Big island, dark gray. We have chrome. Um, the fixtures here are just really giving a lot of um, glam vibes, modern for sure. This is a big circular table. They, I haven't seen really big circle, circular tables for dining, but I like it. It makes sense. It's easy to kind of walk around too as I'm, wa I'm watching John here walk around the table. It's definitely a nice, nice accessible thing. They have a big couch. We're gonna continue walking on here. There's more storage here into the closet. So I know a lot of people appreciate that. They need the storage, especially here in Florida. You know, you have your gadgets. Maybe um, if you're a health enthusiast, you have your workout gear, your camping gear, your dog gear. Storage is important for sure, especially if you have for that active lifestyle. Here's your primary bedroom. They went with the, um, the shiplap, the dark shiplap. I love that. And they're going definitely a little bit darker, moodier here in this model. And then your contemporary uh, modern fixtures. We have some dressers. We have the dark curtains. Um, of course, you'd probably want to bring a bar across so you can just close that. And then we're going to walk into the master, the primary bath. They added pocket doors here so you can close this off. A lot of people will like that you can have that option uh, just for some privacy. Okay. So look, check this one out. Look at your double uh, vanities here. You have the cabinet that goes across the whole way here and then um, your huge walk-in shower. This is definitely accessible. There's everything that's very nice and level so you wouldn't have to worry about getting a new wheelchair or anything in here. You have your um, double shower heads, the bench, the niche, and of course your shower handles. Here, chrome. I like how they did this um, Carrera tile up the walls here and then the closet big walk-in closet it's wide you know a little bit smaller than the last one that we saw still good good enough space and you can even add more hangy things here some shelves on that wall if you needed 
So that's it for the master bathroom. If you like what you're seeing so far, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's go upstairs to check out the rest of the bedrooms. Before we check out the bedrooms, look at this area. It is such a big loft space. People love their loft spaces. It's such a great option for entertaining, for putting the kids up here, um, for storage. Maybe you need some desks for homework. There's that. I love this, the little hashtag signs. And um, just a really big sectional. They really kept it simple. I love this little accent piece here. We've talked about this before. It's literally just little wooden slats that they nail side by side. They have a little paint accent. And then, oh, okay. I, would, I didn't know if that was a mistake or not, but they did continue, I guess, to kind of keep flowing that little baseboard at the bottom. Okay. Anyway, so let's check out the secondary bedroom. We have a full size bed. I love this bed. I love the leather uh, headboard, I guess that would be. And then they went with like a basketball hoop right up there. This is, so I guess this would be like a teen room. Got some paint accents on the wall here and a full bath. This room gets its own bathroom. They went with the black and white, gray, chrome kind of aesthetic and then your walk-in closet. So this is what stands out to me about the white stone versus the Ashby Grand. We do have bedrooms with a walk-in closet, secondary bedrooms with a walk-in closet, which is great. Um, we're gonna continue walking out here. This is a full bath that these rooms are gonna share. So really long bathroom, um, has the linen closet in here, which is great. They don't have to leave the bathroom to grab a towel or whatever things that they need. And then here's your bedroom for, I guess we're on three. They went with two twin beds, fits with plenty of space in between. I mean, you could, you could do it that way or you could add the one bed, whatever you need it for. It just kind of gives you a perspective if you have kids that want to share a room together and walk-in closet number three. Okay, so let's go check out this bedroom. This is the last bedroom, but I love it. This is very Floridian slash Miami vibes, I don't know, but it's black, white with like that hot pink. Really fun, we got some pops of polka dots here and then a really, really big, nice mirror. And it's a walk-in closet. This is a bigger one than the last. Oh, this one is huge. It goes all the way down. And it has a window, which is frosted, so nobody's going to see. Okay? So, I love this room, and it's so simple to do. I might have to steal this idea from my daughter's room. I don't know. I just got inspired all of a sudden. So, And then here's more storage outside. Oh, sorry. That's the air handler. But there is some space to the side if you need to put hang something on the wall. I don't know. And as always, if you like this floor plan or you need other information, feel free to reach out to us first before contacting the builder. We are happy to get you whatever information you need about this home or other homes in the community. Talk to you soon. And that's an Orlando thing. Check out the description for more information. See you next time on AOT.